Hey, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, we are going to take a tour of a tool called Open Knowledge Maps. Open Knowledge Maps is a visual interface to scientific knowledge. It's about 5 years old, and I think it's a really good tool if you're getting started on a literature review, say systematic scoping, really any type of literature review, and you just want to see what's out there. So when you search in Open Knowledge Maps, you can search from PubMed API, or you can search from BASE, which is the Bielefeld Academic Search Engine. I'm more familiar with PubMed, so I'm going to switch to that. And then here in the search box, you can enter whatever your research topic is. I'll enter CRISPR patent. Let's say I'm interested in learning about CRISPR patents. I'll click go, and it takes about 20 seconds to work out a map. So what it does is group papers by topic, and the size correlates with the number of citations on these papers. So you can hover over the papers and click and see the titles and get to them that way. You can see the number of citations. If we click on a paper, it shows up over here on the right. I'm going to click back to overview. And again, we can just tour around here and see what interests us. But on the right, we see the list of papers that have come up in the search. And it's using PubMed metadata to match by relevance here. Let's go to the top. And what it does is give me the data that's available from PubMed, including the title, the authors, the DOI, and the abstract. And what it will also do is tell me if it's open access or not. So this one's open access. Let me click on the PDF. So here is the PDF. I can save it. I can print it. I can do other things with it. I can close. And you can also export in BibTeX format. So this is a pretty standardized format that you could use for Zotero, EndNote, Mendeley, or whatever you're using. You just needed to download the file and then upload it to your citation management program. I'll click close. We'll go through the list some more. If you click on area for any one paper, it's going to show you in which cluster the paper appears. So I'll click on the area and it zooms me into that cluster and I can see that it's this paper here. You can tweet this, you can email it to yourself, you can embed it, you can cite the graphic, it gives you a citation that you can copy and paste. And if you didn't feel like you found what you needed, you can always go back up to search and try again. They have a really excellent FAQ section where you can read through why the data shows up this way, what kinds of data they're using to get the visualization, and more. And you can learn about the team under team, they're a nonprofit organization based in Vienna. So I think Open Knowledge Maps is a really excellent tool for people getting started on research. If you want to use PubMed, remember to click over to PubMed. If you're comfortable with BASE, you can keep it right there. If you're looking for relevant papers for your research, good luck. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.